Welcome back. So this class, I will discuss about formation of differential equations. Now we form differential equations by differentiating the ordinary equation and then eliminating arbitrary constants in the equation. So the differential equation can be formed <coughs> by differentiating the ordinary equation and eliminating the arbitrary constants. So now we demonstrate that through an example. Form the differential equation By eliminating arbitrary constant in the following cases and also write down the order of the differential equation obtained. So A is Y equals to KX plus a squared b is y equals to a cos x plus b sin x and c is y squared equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. So let's work out the solution. Now solution A, we have Y equals to AX plus A squared. So differentiating with respect to X, we get dy dx equals to a. So let's call this one equation one. Let's call this one equation two. So from equation two, a squared is dy dx squared, because we're just going to square both sides. And then we call this one equation three. So replacing two and three in one, we get y equals, now this is a times x, but a is dy dx, so we'll have x dy dx plus a squared is given by dy dx squared. So we'll have dy dx and then squared. 
So which is the required? differential equation now we can see clearly that in this differential equation we just have first order derivatives so the order of this differential equation is one which is the required differential equation of order one also, there's only first order derivative. Number two is y a cos x plus b sin x. So b y equals to a cos x plus b sin x. So let's call this one equation one on differentiation. We'll have dy dx equals to negative a sine x plus b cos x. Let's call this one equation two. Again, differentiating one, we get a uh, differentiating two, we get d squared y dx squared is given by negative a cos x minus b sine x and this we can write it as negative into a cos x plus b sine x let's call this one equation three now from one and three, we have, so equation one is y equals to a cos b plus b sine x. And we see in this equation three, uh, this bracket, uh, this value here is exactly what defines y. So we'll say d squared y dx squared is equals to negative y or d squared y dx squared plus y equals to zero, which is the required equation. whose order is two, because you can see you have a second derivative. And then lastly, C, we have y squared equals to ax squared plus bx plus C. So step one is to differentiate. So, Call this one equation one. Differentiating. Twice now, we are going to do what we call implicit differentiation. So we'll have two y dy dx equals to two ax plus b. Let's call this one two. Differentiating again. So on left hand side, we are going to use product rule. So we'll have uh, this say to be u, this one to be v. So u prime is two and then y dx. and then multiplied by dy dx, that is the v, plus 
this derivative gives us the second derivative, so 2y u times v prime, which is d squared y, dx squared, equals to this other side, we just have 2a. So we have 2y, d squared y, dx squared, plus 2y, or just 2 into dy dx squared, or this b square, equals to 2a, which is the same thing as saying, dividing through by 2, we have y, d squared y, dx squared, plus dy dx squared equals to a. Call this one equation three on differentiating equation three again we get now here we also use product rule so u prime is dy dx times v so we'll have d squared y dx squared multiplied by dy dx plus v prime. This will give us the third derivative times u, which is y. So y d cubed y dx squared, uh, dx cubed plus uh, the differentiating this one will be two and then d squared So remember we have now to carry out, so dy dx, we differentiate with respect to x. So we'll have to dy dx dy d squared y dx squared. And then remember you are using chain rule here. Then you multiply by dy dx. The derivative of a constant is zero. And you see this term and this term are the same. So there'll be three of them. So we'll have y d cubed y dx cubed plus three dy dx multiplied by d squared y dx squared equals to zero. So this is the required differential equation whose order is three. So that is how we form differential equations when given functions. So next definition is to define precise definition of a solution of a differential equation. So solution. of a differential equation. So we can define a solution of a differential equation to be, so any function phi, defined on an interval i and possessing at least n derivatives that are continuous
on this interval i, which when substituted into an nth order ordinary differential equation reduces the equation to an identity is said to be a solution of the equation on that interval. Or in simple terms, so we can say the solution the solution of a differential equation is a solution is a relation between the dependent and independent variables such that the differential equation is satisfied for all values of the independent variable of a specified domain. So that is how we define a solution of a differential equation. And then uh, note that there are frequently many different functions which satisfy a differential equation that is there are many solutions So the general solution embraces all of this and all possible solutions. can be obtained from it. So now the next session will be now doing some verification.
that given functions as solutions to specify differential equations. Thank you.